It's the same engine. It's the military version of the same engine that's on the 757 yeah. airline. Right? So, now let's watch as our air crew, Major Derek von Fiebig and uh, Major Doc Schumacher, as the pilots, put this thing into uh, a significant bank and uh, show just how maneuverable this is. You also, ladies and gentlemen, notice those things sticking up on the edge of the wing. Those nine foot tall winglets uh, actually increase the efficiency of the wing not only in handling, but also in the fuel efficiency. We see them on modern airliners today, but they would go floor to ceiling in your living room. You pointed out too that this turn that they're in right now, this bank angle, what is it, 30 something degrees? Sure, they could do this fully loaded. Yeah, and that's 170,000 pounds worth of cargo, people, material, supplies, whatever it happens to be, even an M1A1 Abrams main battle tank. It's just remarkable. Look at the size of that thing, like an uh, entire city block coming around at you. How tall is that tail when it's on the ground? If you, if you were to climb up to the, the very tip top of that thing, Rob Ryder. 55 feet to the bottom of the tires, to the top of the tail, and ask me how, how high is that? How high is that? High enough you could go duck hunting with a rake. Okay? And That's high. Okay, and the wingspan, 169 feet 10 inches, and it's 174 feet long. Now, we were talking about how easy it is to operate. Three.